Blake's taker here at the Westside Medical. Today we're going to uh, go over what we do in my clinic for uh, like a wing scapula. So wing scapula is pretty much where your uh, posterior inferior portion of your shoulder blade, where it's not gliding and sticking to, to the rib cage. Um, how that occurs is it's kind of secondary to a, a shoulder injury. What happens is you kind of sprain, strain your rotator cuff and that throws off the biomechanics. So if somebody has an injured area, they start moving the shoulder like this using the trap to elevate the shoulder as opposed to keeping the shoulder blade locked down and then using the actual deltoid rotator cuff to lift it. So what happens is when you have the injury, the uh, two muscles shut down. It's your serratus anterior, which is like a broad muscle here, and lower trap right through there. So I do the clinic to take care of it. First we want to work out any, work out any kind of adhesions in the rotator cuff here from an old injury that's causing the biomechanical issue. So what you do is you're going to take this lacrosse ball, baseball, whatever, you're going to put it against the wall and you can compress it and you're going to rotate your arm through a range of motion. Now the rotator cuff inserts, like if this is the top of the humeral head, like just about an inch down. So right along here you want to work the entire area, the front all the way to the back. So you lean against the wall and you're going to compress it and you're going to rotate your arm through internal rotation, kind of just work along through here, especially the front, and then work on the posterior through here, and you kind of bring it across like that. So sorry, that's going to be internal rotation, bring it across the body, and you're going to work this way. So the demonstration is, you're going to put on the wall, you can kind of go back and forth with a little cross friction, and then you can compress it, and just move your arms to the range of motion, so you're going to bring it behind you in extension, and then forward in the inflection. You can also put it right behind the shoulder blade. Once again, you can kind of lean, get your weight on it, and it's, it's actually right behind your arm bone, the humeral head here, right in that posterior rotator cuff, and that's a pretty common area for it to be injured. So you're going to go back and forth cross friction, where you kind of lift your arm up, push some weight on it, and then kind of bring it down. So pretty much just compressing that rotator cuff and then pulling it through a range of motion. Good. So once you clear this rotator cuff out here, you now want to work on strengthening the weak muscles. So first what we do is we want to strengthen the lower trap and we do it by doing band pull aparts. And I found if you keep your elbows tucked in when you pull the band apart, it really fires that lower trap well. So shoulder blades, tuck them down. You're going to pull apart just like this, and that's going to work the lower trap. You probably want to do about three sets of ten to get a nice, uh, nice, um, a nice amount of volume. And this next exercise is for the, the serratus anterior, this muscle here. This is called like, the boxer muscle. Like when you do like an uppercut, that's the muscle that contracts and keeps that shoulder blade flush against your rib cage. So there's a couple ways to work it. You can do now push-up plus is where you're doing a push-up. So you do a push-up and then plus where you rotate your shoulder blades all the way forward. That's a push-up plus. I prefer the, uh, it's called the handshake method, where you're going to keep your shoulder tucked in, locked down, and you're just going to extend the shoulder out just like this. And once again, you want to do about three sets of ten to get some nice volume on it. So to recap, you want to use soft tissue work here to stretch out any kind of adhesions that's affecting the biomechanics, and then you want to strengthen the weak areas. So you want to do the pull aparts to work the lower trap to strengthen it, and you want to do the, the handshake right like that. Good. Hopefully it helps you guys out.